And the question we have is, did Ghost do enough to say Tariq? The reason why we're going to discuss this in this video is because the other day I put up a video titled, How Tasha Turned Tariq Into a Stunt Husband. And I had a subscriber disagree with me in the comment section, and we basically argued back and forth about this for two days straight. So we're going to have this video, and we're going to discuss, did Ghost do enough? And we're going to present arguments for each side. My side is on the side that Ghost did as much as he could based off of what was going on in his life. He wasn't perfect, but he felt like he did the best that he could. And I'm also going to speak for the argument on my subscriber side, which is that Tasha had to deal with the brunt of the burden. And Ghost wasn't there enough. And Ghost is more to blame, right? So without further ado, let's get into it. Hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And wait till the end of the video so we can really sort this thing out. Now, my subscriber said, how is he supposed to keep him out the streets when he wasn't there to guide and protect him? And then asked me, first off, why haven't you mentioned how the seed was planted when you skipped all the way to season six when Tasha gave in? You overlooked the fact that she was begging ghosts to see about him. This man had Dre of all people looking after him. His money and zip code did not save Tariq. There was way more to do than what Tasha did. It was brewing over six seasons. Also, the subscriber said, I expect a man to raise a boy, but when a man like Ghost has demons and avoids his own past, he constantly sends the boy off lying to him. It's because Tariq reminds him of himself, and that's why he's avoiding it. Imagine having all the money, but all you want is for your father to show you time. Take you to a basketball game or come home. The boy was made in his father's image because that's a male, trying to live a double life, very complex, and never staying out. If you're going to talk about power, then talk about all of that. Also, the subscriber said, you have to take responsibility for what you raised. He's a product of Ghost and Tasha. She had two options. Stop talking to Tariq forever or at least teach him things he didn't know. But she tried to discipline him and beg Ghost to step in. Why don't you address that? Talking to me, right? How do you live a dangerous life but try to tell your child not to? That's being a hypocrite. Okay, so now let's talk about this, right? And let's talk about the beginning and how it all started, right? For as much as I can remember, and if you're in the comment section and, and you think I forgot anything that's important, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. But from my recollection, right, from a man's point of view, I see it this way. OG power starts. Ghost is a loving father. Ghost has three kids. Ghost also has his own dilemma, okay? He's at a crossroads where he wants to become somebody greater than who he is. Tasha wants him to remain stagnant as who he's already been, okay? So that already had Ghost about to have a wandering eye. Now, he did not expect to meet Angela, who turned out to be the police. He did not expect to meet Angela in the club that night. But he ran into Angela in the club that night, okay? And basically, this was the beginning of the affair, okay? Now, in my opinion, Tasha did she first. Because all those did was get a number, right? <laughs> and this could have been anything. All right, I'm dragging it, but Tasha did go in the car and start playing with herself first. So that's like the real physical act of cheating, right? But anyways, shortly after this, Ghost gets into his affair with Angela, and and things start getting weird, okay? Now, Ghost, who tries to be the better man of the situation, eventually he tells the truth about Angela, and he intends on dating Angela publicly, while he's also hiding his ghost identity from Angela, who's actively trying to look for him and lock him up at the same time, but she doesn't know. And Ghost tells Tasha, like, hey, look, I'm in love, I'm leaving you, and I want the kids to be around Angela, okay? Tasha gives in. Now, Ghost kept it very plain. He kept it very simple. He told his family exactly what was going on. Now, are we saying that from that point on, Tariq had an excuse to be a little dickhead and start getting in trouble in, getting in, trouble in school and... And start acting out. Okay. Yes. Ghost did become busy. Ghost did become busy. You know what I'm saying? He got a new woman. He's a drug lord. And he runs a lot of legal businesses. So that means people got to be killed. There's a lot of meetings that have to be done. Both on the drug lord side. And on the club truth and legal business side. Okay. 
And also he has his children. But mind you, these are children whose lives he's been in from day one. Now, Raina didn't start acting up. Raina didn't start acting up, involving herself in the streets, looking for boys' attention just because ghosts stopped living in the house. Raina didn't do that. But you know what Tariq did? As soon as Ghost tries to make everyone a big, happy family, what does Tariq do? Tariq sees a gun in Angela's closet, takes the gun to school, gets caught. Gets caught just being stupid. Now, of course, boys going to get into shit. We know that. But this is what happened. And you got to understand, from that point on, when Tariq was getting into stuff and Ghost knew about it, Ghost always took the time to speak to Tariq and tell Tariq that he did not want that friend. And now you have Kanan, who been playing games with Ghost the whole season. He comes home, right? Of course, we fast forwarding things a little bit. And now Tariq gets involved with Kanan. Now, peep this. Had Ghost knew it was Kanan and not somebody named Slim who's doing all this stuff and having Tariq involved with all this, right? Ghost would have put serious eyes on Tariq and Ghost would have killed Kanan Early, early, early. Because he'd have been like, listen, you gave my son involved in the streets. I work too hard for this. That's the first thing. Ghost didn't know that Slim was Canaan. Okay? So Ghost wasn't on some, okay, I'm putting all my resources to find out who this person is and kill this person. Now, maybe he should have. But while Tariq was getting into trouble, bringing guns to school, fighting, and doing all this extra stuff, everything that he knew about, at some point, he took the time out to sit Tariq down and check Tariq. Are we forgetting that he checked Tariq multiple times? He reprimanded Tariq when Tariq stole a gun. Okay? When, when, Tariq, when Tariq called Angela the side bitch, he checked Tariq. When Tariq put his hands on Raina, he checked Tariq. He was doing everything a father was supposed to do. So we have to ask this question now, you know what I'm saying? Because, unfortunately... A lot of people, especially women, tend to think that a productive father is supposed to be home and be up under the kid's ass just as much as the mother. By the way, Tasha, who was not working, she has everything she needs. She's a stay-at-home mom. She has literally all day to be up under the kids, watch the kids, and make sure the kids is on a straight and narrow for the times where Ghost isn't around. To, to enact the kind of discipline that needs to be put on Tariq. Tasha had all the time in the world. What Tasha doing? Running off with Kanan's son. Running off with Kanan's son. Always looking for some penis to bounce on. Are we lying about this? Or are we going to tell the truth? Are we going to tell the truth? This is what Tasha was doing. You got to understand from the moment Ghost found out that Tariq was trying to sell drugs and everything. What Ghost did? Ghost was trying to send Tariq on a different path every single time. Whether, whether Ghost was lying about who he was or not. Does, like, 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 parents always lie to their kids. If it's something that they feel like you ain't supposed to know, then it's something you ain't supposed to know. Ghost is ashamed of who he was and all the things that he did. Why would he want to tell Tariq, hey, listen, I'm currently a drug lord. So I just want to tell you that since you're trying to sell drugs. I'm currently a drug lord. Ha, 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 ha. Why would he do that? Of course, he was trying to keep his kids from knowing that. So when Kanan exposed it to him, and that made Tariq want to be just like his father, which, by the way, now he and Ghost talk about, I'm not like my father. I'm smarter than him. I'm better than him. And all this other stuff. And it's like, dude, he's your hero. <laughs> and OG Power, he was like, I'm you. Teach me the motherfucking game, Ghost, right? And all that other stuff. But are we forgetting that? Although Ghost made his mistakes, okay? Ghost always tried to steer Tariq in a different direction. And yes, Tasha did too. But here's the difference. Tasha gave in and started teaching him how to thrive in the drug business instead of letting him learn his lessons. Also, here's the thing, right? Tariq jumped out the window a lot. But also, before I go to Tariq jumping out the window, right? And Tasha... You know, giving in and helping Tariq be a smarter criminal, right? I want to address the fact that my subscriber has said that of all people, Ghost had Dre look after Tariq. But here's the thing, right? Ghost was taking Dre under the wing. Ghost had good intentions for Dre. Ghost 
wanted Dre to advance out of the drug game and become more like him, someone who could transition into having legal, legit businesses and thriving. Ghost was trying to turn Dre into something that he didn't know Dre had no intentions on really being. So, of course, he trusted Dre as his little homie. Yo, I'm busy. Can you look after my son, please? Yes, that's what he did. Now, was it the best idea in hindsight? No, but Ghost had good intentions. He had drug lore business, legal business to handle, plus he had Angela. Okay? Mind you, yes, he has his family. So he was still, so these are four different things that he had to do simultaneously. He had to keep finding time to do these things. And mind you, when it comes to the drug business, you know, a lot of urgent things happen. So he might have been about to, I mean, do something with the kids or go do something with Angela, but someone got killed in the drug business or a drug deal went bad or somebody got robbed or something. Ghost had to deal with that. Or something bad happened with the business. He about to lose a business. The police trying to run up in the business. He getting set up by police and all that. There's only 24 hours in a day. The man was busy. Are we going to fault the man for being busy? Are we going to fault the man for being busy? Now, let me give y'all a history lesson, right, of fathers, right? As history clearly shows you, fathers were never around the young children as much as the mothers were. Because the fathers were out going to war, hunting, looking for food, and doing things of that nature, which required them to be gone for days and weeks and months and sometimes years at a time. And guess what? Those kids understood what it was, okay? They celebrated their parents when they came home. From, from bringing food home, okay, resources, things like that. And also, the mothers appreciated the fact that their men came home from handling business, okay? Ghost was handling business. He wasn't just going away from the kids because he's sleeping with Angela. We all know sex only takes five to ten minutes. We all know this. We all know this, you know what I'm saying? So now let's talk about my subscriber who argued that... that Tasha was constantly asking Ghost to get involved, and Ghost wasn't there. I believe I just debunked that. <laughs> I believe I just debunked that, you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing, right? Ghost tried to deter Tariq from being involved in the streets every opportunity he had. What did he do when Tasha had her own business, right? And she was washing money through the business, and she was teaching Tariq how to count books and, and all this other stuff. What did Ghost do? He told. <laughs> Right? Didn't he tell? Ghost found a way to stop Tasha's business because he didn't he didn't want Tariq to get involved in that. Okay? When when he was getting involved in uh uh stealing Tommy's work, getting involved with, with, with Vinny and the Italians, and Ghost found out. What did Ghost do? Ghost made it his mission to get involved and protect his son. That's exactly what he did. So are we gonna say. Ghost is more responsible for putting Tariq in positions that would cost him his life more than Tasha was. When Tasha was the person who really told him how to sell drugs correctly. When Tasha was the one who, who came up with the idea, along with Angela Valdez, of course, to set Kanan up, which led to five cops being killed, Kanan being killed. But also, if Kanan didn't really love Tariq like his own son, he'd have popped Tariq in the head right there. And then Tariq would be dead. And then what Tasha, what Tasha would have told um Kanan? I mean, what Tasha would have told Ghost after that? Ghost would have killed Tasha for that. And maybe even Angie. Every opportunity where Ghost realized Tariq was doing too much and he was involved in the streets, Ghost went out of his way to try to stop that from happening. Every single time he tried to stop Tariq from making bad decisions. All the way up until his death. Where he still was like, hey, Tariq. You got a gun pointed at me. There's no coming back after this. You don't have to do this. I'm your father. I love you. But what happened? He did what he did because Tasha, in an effort to save her own behind, right? In an effort, right, to get a one-up on Ghost, she was going to go and kill Ghost at the club. But what Tariq, the son husband, did, he had his little hallucination from Canaan, who wanted Ghost dead anyway and wanted Tariq to kill Ghost anyway. Tariq had his little hallucination. Tariq ends up stepping up for his mom and doing what he felt like had to be done. So if you ask me, after I said all this, I gave clear examples 
that Ghost did everything he could. The only thing he was at fault for was not being in the house 24-7, which logically wasn't possible anyway. Now, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Am I right? Am I wrong? Did Ghost do enough? Did he not do enough? Was the subscriber right? And I was wrong. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.